In this video, I'm going to be purchasing, setting up, and running the Infinity Scripts Volume Bot. If it is your first time setting up the bot, I would recommend having the Git book open and also following along there. To start, all you're going to need is some Solana, an RPC, which is your connection to the blockchain, a server, which is optional but recommended. It is basically renting out a computer in a different location. You'll need to download Node.js and Visual Studio Code. On the Infinity Scripts main page, you'll be able to see the Pump Fund Volume Bot. You're going to press buy now and continue. You're going to enter in your email, connect your Discord account, agree to the terms and service, and continue once again. This will take you to the invoice page where you will select Solana as your payment method and you will simply send the amount of Solana to the address provided. So for this video, we're going to be using a server. We're going to be using one from Saw Servers. You can get a 35% off discount coupon through the Infinity Scripts Discord. Once you purchase the server, you will find an email that contains the server IP, the username, and the password. Now, we're going to open a remote desktop connection. We're going to input the IP, username, and password, and press connect. Now you can see we're connected to the server. We can go ahead and download the bot. When you purchase the volume bot, you'll be given a role on Discord, which will allow you access to see the volume updates channel. In here will contain the latest update of the volume bot. You want to download the latest update. We're going to use a file transfer system like WeTransfer to get a link which we can then use to download the bot on our virtual private server. Now we need to download the file on our virtual private server. We're going to open the file and we are going to extract all to our downloads. The extracting can take a while, so in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and download Visual Studio Code and Node.js and go through the setup wizards. Once we have extracted the download, we're going to open the volbot folder and we're going to open the config.json in Visual Studio Code. In Visual Studio Code, we will see this, which is the settings for the bot. We will start with the RPC. Now for whichever RPC provider you're using, you need to get their RPC URL and WS URL. We're going to be using Infinity Node and for every RPC, you need to whitelist your IP in order to use it. If you're unsure of where to get an RPC node, you can find one on the Infinity Script Celex for just over one soul a month. Once we've put in our RPC and WS, we need to set the delay, slippage, min buy, max buy. We are now going to choose the block engine URL closest to our server since that's where we are running the script. We are now going to set up the Jito tip PK, the sender, and the dev wallet for which we're going to need to generate some wallets. In the next step, you're going to need to make some new wallets. You can do so as shown in Phantom and export the private keys as shown. I will be generating the rest of the wallets off camera. Once we have imported the Jito tip private key, the sender private key, and the dev wallet public address, we are ready to run the bot. To do this, we will open a new terminal in Visual Studio Code. We will quickly need to go back to the extracted folder and copy the address as shown. Back in the terminal, we will type cd and paste the address. Now that we're in the directory, we can type npm install to install the dependencies. Once this is done, we can type npm run start to start up the bot. This will bring us to the main menu of the volume bot. And the first thing we're going to do is open up the wallets manager. Now that we're here, we're going to generate five fresh new wallets. We will now open up transfer to send Solana to each of the new wallets that we generated. We will fund each one with 0.1 sol. Once the walls are funded, we can open up the buy menu and select human mode, enter in the contract address, set our minimum and maximum delay and our sell percentage. Now on pump.fund, we can see that our wallets are buying and selling a random Solana amount set within our config and also at random times between our minimum and maximum delay. There are many other different buy and sell modes, which I recommend looking at in the volume bot gift book. 